Good morning. It's um, 7, 12 a.m. on Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. Coming to you from the East Coast of the United States. I told you that I would try Nespresso's new watermelon iced coffee with milk this morning. You know, and I was thinking about it. I, by the way, it was really good just plain, made with ice and then added water, according to the instructions on the package. And I tried it with lime yesterday. That was good. Needed sweetening. Today, I'm going to try it because several people have suggested it with milk. And then I may add a little vanilla, which people have also suggested, and sweetener. So I was thinking about it. Have you ever had a creamsicle? You know, that uh, ice cream pop that has vanilla ice cream on the inside and orange sherbet on the outside. I mean, that's good, right? You wouldn't mix orange juice and milk, but having it like a creamsicle is good. So I thought, well, maybe this will be like a watermelon creamsicle. So first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extract the watermelon coffee over this ice, um, I think, if the machine will turn on. Okay. Oh, the capsule's in. The machine is locked and nothing is happening. I just love live Facebook videos. Okay, let me, let me try. Oh, oh my goodness. There's sparks coming. Let me pull this out. Whoa. Okay, let me just plug this directly into the socket because I think maybe this, oh, let me unplug all of these. There were sparks coming out of this thing. Oh dear. I hope it hasn't, oops, I hope it hasn't shorted out my machine. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me take the capsule out. Let me put it back in. Okay. This is definitely, um, okay. All right. Well, now it's coming on just fine. I th think I'll get rid of this thing. Oh dear me, I'm glad it didn't wreck the machine. Maybe that's why I've been having trouble every once in a while getting it to turn on. Yeah, so if you're looking at me today and saying, what happened to her sports bra? <laughs> and if you don't know what that means, just let it go by. Okay, so this is just, remember, a double espresso. So it's like 2.7 ounces. And you're supposed to add about 6.5 ounces by weight of ice and about 6 ounces or 3 quarters of a cup by liquid volume of cold water. But instead, now I don't really, I don't think I've got 6 ounces of ice in here, but you know, we'll see how it is. Some people told me, well, you know, I ought to give it a taste. Some people told me that they made it without the water, just with the ice, and it was refreshing. So I'll give it a little taste. Let's see, how about a spoon? All righty, there we go. Okay. Whoops, I better not get too enthusiastic there. Well, you know what? So here's the thing with this. It tastes like espresso, but the watermelon flavor is being overwhelmed by the coffee. Yeah. So let me, I'm gonna go ahead and add milk. Am I going to measure it? Nah. Oh, wait, or should I add vanilla? No, I'm going to add milk. Okay. Let 
uh, I'll use this spoon. If I keep doing that, next thing it'll be up in the air and all over. Hmm. This is interesting. It's very interesting. I'm going to add a little sweetener to it because I found with the watermelon that sweetener brings out the watermelony flavor. Okay. Mm. Okay, listen guys. It's almost like having a watermelon creamsicle. Mm. This is really good. Uh, yesterday, I ordered three more sleeves of the watermelon, and it just took them one day to deliver it to me, so I'm excited about that. All right, now, I'm just going to measure the vanilla into a spoon. Oh, okay, because this kind, kind of comes out fast, so I'm just going to put in a little bit of it. I don't know, how much should I put in? Eh, I just put the whole thing in. You know, if it turns out to be too much, next time I'll back off on the amount. It was fine without the vanilla. I'm going to add a little more milk and a little more ice. So for me, leave out the vanilla, okay? But the watermelon iced coffee with milk is good. Oh, a couple more ice cubes. It's good, folks. Who would have thought, I just never, ever would have thought something like this would be good. Wow. Okay, so hopefully that'll dilute out some of the vanilla, because first of all, I put in too much, and second of all, it was fine without it. Mm. This is delicious. I'm amazed.